Welcome, welcome, welcome to Coffee with Jenny and Dre. This is season two. What? Episode one. We done flew by. Well, it flew by. <laughs> we done flew by. We done flew by, and it is now season two, episode one. Uh, Let's talk about you know, coffee. We're, we're, we're oh. in this thing. Uh, got a new setup. Uh, <laughs> everything's looking real nice in here, man. Uh, we just wanted to bring something new and fresh for y'all for the new uh, season. And uh, this is my co-host, the beautiful Miss Jenny. And uh, yeah, man, let's talk about this coffee we got over here today. Okay, so I think everyone or a lot of people are familiar with Summer Moon. It okay. Has, it is popular. And they're mostly known for like their milks or okay. uh, creams, whatever you want to say it. So they have like a full moon, a half moon, a quarter moon. And what it is, is it talks about like how sweet it's going to be. So me, basically, we have the milk, about. we have the cream that they're famous for. And then also they do a oak roasted coffee, mm -hmm. velvet blaze. This right here, this shit right here slap. It's good, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, velvet blaze is their signature blend. It's like a medium, I guess, roast. Um, okay. And they are in Driftwood, Texas is where they actually roast nice. these beans. But shout out to Salina, Texas, because Summer Moon is there in my hometown. Shout out to little old Salina. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're, popular there i'm okay. sure everyone goes because and which one which, which one what 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 do we have right here what do we have velvet blaze velvet blaze it's good it is good this is facts okay man there's so, no uh, bitterness no f i no. like how you use the word bitter now since your mom taught you that one <laughs> it's That's not what, sour it's not sour well listen y'all we got some feedback from some questions that y'all been wanting to ask and wanted us to touch base on from um last uh uh season so we're gonna jump in some to some of those uh on this season in this episode uh, these are some good questions they I are. like this I like okay. this question answer session. this little question segment okay this is like kind of kind of like relationship insight yeah. sort of uh the first question is uh do you have a certain type of and does it change? Uh, because, you know, there's been, you know, there, there's, there's certain in types in relationships. Do you have a certain type and, do, and does it change, you know, do can, we waver? monthly, yearly, woo, 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 woo. Because <laughs> okay. it, it can change. Yeah, it yeah. definitely can change. Um, I mean, not, not in your marriage, but. Not in your marriage, for sure. <laughs> when you're dating. When you're things. dating. But um, you always get mad because the girl that I say that. There's no, I mean, we, we don't play the, uh, if you had a, because you know how There's they no say. There's no hall passes. Yeah, they yeah. say if you had a hall pass, uh, who would your hall pass be with? Nobody. I, I, it would just be with her. Um, and But that's just my opinion. I am the one and only hall, hall pass, pass you for ever sure. get. And uh, so, like, she gets on me sometimes because, like, a, a woman that I think is a super, uh, you know, to me, attractive and beautiful or and all those crush. types. A crush you want to call doesn't look nothing like her. And she always gets mad about that because my crush is uh We don't have We don't want to say her name. Okay, go ahead. I, you don't want me to say her name. I don't know who which she, one you're gonna say. It's only one. Stop why are we playing games? Like I just got I say a whole bunch of girls just crushes. I only have one. And her name is uh Mrs. Ross's daughter. Um Oh uh, Di uh, uh, Diana Diana no, no, Ross's no, daughter, no. but her uh, first name is uh why can't I think of her name right now? Oh my Tracy. Tracy Ellis Ross, yeah. something like that. Yeah. So Tracy Ross, Miss Yeah. I, to me, that's my I, crush, and she doesn't look nothing um, like my my wife. So she always <laughs> uh, gets on me about that. But like I told her, I, I really personally, I don't have a type. I just think that women are beautiful, yeah. and it doesn't and matter. Are. You know, it doesn't matter what race or how this or that. I just think women are beautiful in general, and I don't have a type. It's not like because I I have a, a friends that date. Like say, if it's a uh, they only date. Uh, uh, blonde hair, blue eyed girls with and it like they consistently big breasts. Date and it's that. like every time I yeah. see him with this woman, it's always a woman that looks similar to like his ex girlfriend or to the next. Or right, next. right, right. So some people have type. I just don't have a type. Right. I just think all women are beautiful, and it's just whatever that chemistry is or whatever that look I think is beautiful to me is what I would uh, dive in. Even though there's are women on that I that I think that are beautiful. But that look like my wife, that right. similar, you know, look like her. So um, those things like that. Do you have a type? I, again, I think, yeah. I mean, I know that I'm like what I find attractive tends to always be the same. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that like I don't find 
Like there are men out there that is like out of what I would normally go for that I think are attractive. Yes. But I think women, I don't know, me, I maybe I should start speaking for myself and not all women. But for me, uh, yeah, I, I tend to go like for you. <laughs> you're my type. <laughs> <laughs> but your, that, that that last dude don't look nothing like me. Uh, Not even okay. a little bit. So what? When we're talking about that, I like, I love dark skin, like your features, like you. Okay. Not. It's just sorry, light skin. <laughs> okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I tend to go for you you're what i'm most attracted to now does that mean i don't find other men attractive yes but it's just like not my cup of tea hmm. okay so yeah i guess i do have you a have type. a type yeah probably so, so really we want to know like do do you have a type does you know our listeners do y'all have a certain type that y'all go go like, to like what's y'all go to type like all the time a lot of women you like even like growing up like they love like uh the steph curry look or whatever like the light eyes and the I don't. So, so you, you, sorry. You, you think they go for Jason? No, sorry, Jason. No. <laughs> but Jason's yes, my boy. Not that, and Jason is a is a good looking man, but he's not my type. That's what I'm saying. Like it's just not my type. Mm. I feel like it's I got. Poly, yeah. I feel like I got certain features that are are a oh. must for me. Oh, like, oh, okay. Yeah, like a must for me. Like. No matter what the the the, the and that ethnicity you're talk of the about person, your own features. no, no, no. Without the ethnicity of the person, like I have, like these are no, these are like must haves for me. Like you got to have um, straight teeth, like pretty white teeth. They ain't got to be straight, 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 but they just got to be pretty white teeth. Uh, I like ass, so you got to have a, a nice ass and, and, and nice legs. I, I like those features lose in a woman. Booty? Well, you have to have a booty. I said, what if you lose the booty? Uh well, that's then you we, we talk about cutie. that later. Come on, boo boo. Yeah, we're not relax. But okay. um, so those are like features that I feel like I gotta, and I'm not a big breast dude, so you don't have to have like humongous tits and shit. Like that's not like things that I I look for. But <laughs> okay. those other things are like are a must have on my list of attractiveness to a woman. Okay. Yeah. Small breasts, pretty teeth. Big butt. Big butt. And I mean, not outlandishly big, but just like a nice ass, though. I like that. Okay. So, okay, um, good. You know. I, so you have a type, and I have a type. I, I don't have. And a we type. just so happen to marry I have features that I like <laughs> in a type of types. woman. Yeah. And, okay. ho- and hopefully, but, you marry your type. But really, in in reality, there are people out there that literally like every person they date looks, looks the, the exact same. Facts. Yeah. So yeah. I think for us, we can waver. With with it, it's not like everyone we've dated looks the exact same. That's for sure. You you can't waver that much though. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Next question is <laughs> a funny question that somebody asked. So, is it okay for your man to go to the strip club? Um, so okay. So here's how this this goes. Like, strip clubs are what they are. Men go to strip clubs. Women go to strip clubs. In my opinion, your man can go to the strip club whenever he wants to go to the strip club. My man, who oh. I'm married to, I don't think the strip club, a married man should be at the strip club on a regular basis. Does that mean it's your boy's bachelor party and we want to go? Okay, cool. But like, is that where on the weekends, like you as a married man should hang out? No, that's my stance on it. That is... There are things in, when you get married, um, there's temptation all over this world. I mean, like you said, you can go anywhere and have temptation. So like what I've always said is don't put yourself in a situation that is going to compromise our marriage. And to me, that is just putting yourself in a situation to have a fuck up, basically. So it's not, in my opinion, in that environment – our, it's not an environment where our marriage is going to be respected by anyone. Um, so I prefer that it, that is not where 
you are hanging out. I don't give a damn how good the food is. Yo, I, I try cook. to explain to her this. I can cook very well. She can cook well. <laughs> but listen, though. You don't need to go to Them strip clubs be having some good food. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm talking about like four stars type shit. Like, four stars. Sh- no, straight up. What are you talking about? I'm then trying take to tell me. you. Let's go. No, no I, I don't go to strip clubs like that. Meals. I don't go to strip clubs like that anyway. But exactly. I'm saying like. When I used to go, mm-hmm. you know, I used to do the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> we should tell the story of P-Roy. No, we're not going to tell the story. But yeah, I used to go to the strip club a lot. Uh, not, you know, and I really go for the entertainment of, for myself and for my boys and to for have the fun. Food, right? And for the food. The food mm-hmm. is amazing. I mm-hmm. mean, wings at Magic City. Like, this shit that places where, you know, I've been to strip clubs uh, across the world. <laughs> and... Uh, they always have good food. I'm not. I'm. I don't. I don't go to strip clubs no more. But when I used to, um, I used to eat a lot. The food was good, and I don't understand why you do. some women did not don't understand. Like, granted, you know, it's entertaining for sure, right? And it's women there for sure. Mm-hmm. But I like going for for the food and like my boys having fun and just enjoying ourselves and just relaxing type of Absolutely. deal. Absolutely. So, like I said, I'm in certain situations cool, or if. I'm with you, which we've never done. Yeah. Cool. But like, it's not, in my opinion, where a married man should be. Now, For if y'all sure. are dating, like you, when we were dating, you would go pretty, <laughs> you would go. Like, it's not, that's a different situation. Um, but once we're married and it's just a respect thing at that okay. point. Making sure we're not, our marriage isn't put into a situation where now you're, you got to explain some shit. For sure. So is it okay for your husband or a person you're in a long, long, long term relationship with uh, go to strip clubs? Um, and if so, like, I mean, regularly go to strip clubs. How do y'all feel about that? Um, she obviously uh, doesn't like it. Um, that, But her opinion I and mean, her own personal feelings. And she, it's not de- it has nothing to do with no insecurity. I know. People, oh, please your, don't come your, at me. You're insecure. It's definitely not. She just doesn't think that a married man should be at it's a strip just club. Not the place. Be- just is not the place for him. And I and I uh I kinda agree. Not a lot, but a little bit though. I agree a little bit with it. Um so uh, I, I I mean, just, okay, so what so I mean I don't like a a, a male strip club. Well they don't like, I don't even think male strip clubs even have strip club, male strip clubs around. I know, but if they did, would you want me there? At a male strip club? Yeah. Uh uh And they're banana hammocks. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, I mean uh, <laughs> I just I, I think male strip clubs are gross. I just think it's. Still, I mean, I, don't, I mean, if you wanted to go, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You so, so the thought of like a man being like in my face with his banana. I don't. Hammock, I don't get dances though. They walk by you with a little booties. And yeah, yeah, but I don't. I typically don't get. You can ask my boys. I don't get dances. Okay, so if, so just put me in the same environment that you and your boys do. Uh-huh. If me and my girls are doing it, is it okay? I don't get dances. So if you or me in in the male strip club, I don't care because okay. I don't get dances. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I, I wonder I go, if the food is good at male strip clubs. I don't think they even have food at male strip clubs. <laughs> of course. So. Okay. Next question is. Ooh, do you want to talk about uh, the gym? Nah. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll dive into that later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Somebody wants to know, would you move for love? Would you move for love? Would you move for love? Because there was a, um, I think we was watching something. So uh, there was a, a woman who uh, her and her boyfriend had been together for a few years. Um, she finally uh, was able to land her dream job, mm-hmm. which was in a, another state that was pretty far away from where they lived. Okay. And uh, she was in a dilemma like, hey, do I go do my dream job or do I stay? You know, because I'm in love with, with this man and we're in a relationship together. And he's not going to move. And, well, they didn't say he wasn't going to move, but he wasn't like – ready to like I'm not finna move right. like right now type of thing and women were killing him and her like in the comments saying shit like um, uh, that's your dream job forget that dude he, blah, if he can't respect it blah 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 he can't respect you going mm. to do your dream job blah 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 you know all that type of thing how do you would you move for love for love or stay for love I mean would you love? stay for love or would you go um, take your dream job I think it would um Golly, I feel like all that is like so, so like if, if we're about, if I know this is the man for me and I'm going to marry him, like I would stay for him. I mean, I feel like that's so like, I mean, a job over a a human that I love, I'm going to pick the human that I love all day long. Mm -hmm. Um, Now, if this was like, 
like I said, this has got to be some, I don't know. I don't have a dream job, I don't think. But like if, if it was something that's like going to pay me insanely well and is going to be the most fun job in the world, I don't know why he wouldn't want to just go with me. But if it's just like a normal job that just happened to be my dream job but in another state that I could potentially get in this state, like yeah. why would I do that? But I feel like if it was that cool of a job and he loves me, I feel like he's going to come with me. But I'm not going to leave the man I love and potentially marry or my husband or anything because I got a job opportunity somewhere else. Okay. What about um, long distance? Would you just want to do long mm -hmm. distance? Are mm -hmm. you a long distance relationship type of person? No. Okay. So um, do you think that um, it's selfish for the man to not want to go? Because women were saying he's selfish. I mean, selfish. no, I think it depends on what his situation is, too. It's two people in a relationship. I yeah. mean, y'all got to do what's best for for y'all, and equal parties have to be happy. I mean, because what about in that state where he's at, where y'all were at, where y'all met, he's he's in his dream job. Yeah, so, that's what I mean. It has to make sense for both of y'all. And if if there's going to be resentment because you couldn't leave, then then y'all need to just end it. But they're also saying that she's definitely going to have resentment because this was her dream job and she well, didn't take it for love. she's going to have resentment when you make your decision of I want to be with this person over this job, then, then to me you don't get to have resentment because you mm. made that decision. He didn't. He His decision was I'm happy where I am. And I, this is where I'm going to be. So if you chose to not go take a job, there's no that's your fault. You should have you should have taken the job if you're going to be resentful. I wonder how that how does that conversation look? Is it like oh, you know, which one of the jobs makes the most I money? Think, yeah, like, which one makes the most? What makes the most like, money? Like or potentially his job, he could get there too, or he can work remote. Or I mean, that's what I mean. There's so many like yeah. variables that go into that that decision for sure. But like cut and dry job over love i'm gonna choose love i'm gonna choose love over a job too yeah i mean but a lot now of if we are on our ass and struggling in a relationship for sure yeah yeah then that's a different story if we're always you know hot and cold and this that and the other hot and cold or i'm broke as a joke mm. i mean for sure sometimes that ma that makes more sense and then hopefully we reconnect <laughs> for if sure not it is what it is okay next question is and somebody wanted to know, how do we deal with each other when we are frustrated or mad at each other? Like I hide his keys. <laughs> have you done that? You, you, you. I have never hid okay, your keys from sure. you. Okay. Stop. That was somebody else. My bad. <laughs> Probably so. Yeah. Uh, how do we deal with each other when we're frustrated? When, you're, when we're mad, having an argument, how do we go about it? Um, what I think is big or what I've, what I've learned is – when you're like really frustrated and this is, we don't, we, we don't fight very, do we get on, we get on each other's nerves more than we're like fighting. For sure. Like we'll definitely be like, okay, we're on each other's nerves right now. It is what it is. And to me, then you just leave each other alone for a little bit. Um, if it's like a heated argument where, okay, if I bring this up, I know it's going to be a fight or he did something. If I bring it up right now, my, I'm emotional. I'm well, like I'm a female, I'm more emotional. So like I, what I think is most important is that you sit with whatever it is that you want to bring up. And even if it's 24 hours, it will not be as <laughs> problematic if you sit on it for a minute and let your emotions die down and then bring it up. And I have done that in, in our, where I'm like, okay, I'm not, not doing this right now because I'm going to have a meltdown if I do it right now. So I'm going to chill and then I'll bring it up. You can't hold shit if you're upset about something. Uh, you gotta bleh, right then. Yeah, for sure. I need to I get know. it out. I'm not playing this shit. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. This is what. This ain't even got this. This is with us or with anybody. Yeah. Like I don't. Like I can. I can sit on things for days. Yeah, yeah. I, it might make me sick, but I can sit on it. I'm always the nip it in the butt right away type of guy. Like even when it comes to like. We're, we're not like the relationship, but like, say if, um, if I'm in a, you know, sometimes, uh, in my group chats with my boys, we might get in like, I might get in a one-on-one -on -one with somebody and we going at it and, you know, stuff get, you know, said differently and words get used differently. I'm always the guy that'd be like, yo, 
y'all know my address or he's like you want to fight you you know my address <laughs> i'll beat you or up. i'll pull up to wherever you at we can talk about this because you know that text and shit gets a little bit um well texting should never texting yeah. texting get a little bit out of hand yeah. and so i want to pull up anytime anywhere so we can talk about it face Which to face while i'm in it y'all he's talking about like a like he'll pull up on a principal like it yeah. doesn't matter so i'm trying For sure. to help him Principles, learn that uh, beating up anywhere <laughs> and it ain't got about beating up even though it's i'm about move, i'm always about moving furniture but it's not about beating up i'm just saying that i like to discuss things face to face because i want to <laughs> see if you this tough over the text as you are when we face to face. Not saying I can beat up everybody in the world, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even on that type of time because I'm a grown ass man. But I'm just saying if it gets to where we're texting or on the phone and it gets a little bit heated, I need to pull up to yeah, check your temperature. Uh, you're talking about other heat. We're supposed to be talking about our relationship. Oh, my bad. Let's get out. Yeah, but what us? I still need to check her temperature, <laughs> you see too. see what I'm saying with <laughs> I this need man? To, I need to check her temperature, too. But I like to get it out the way right away. Yeah. And, and I'm not trying to hold nothing and, so what, and compress it. I need to talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, there you are. That's how we do. <laughs> <laughs> she can, she likes to let her feelings, you know, emotions calm down and suppress them a little bit to be able to express herself better. Mm. Um, I think I expect myself great from the jump. <laughs> can we talk about something real quick? It is not nip it in the butt. What is it? Nip in it in the bud. There you go. Nip it in the Thank bud. You. Yeah, yeah, nip it in the bud. Okay. Um, let me go back to, okay, what's what's the next question? So that's how we deal with things. I personally think you should sit on it for a hot second. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's an hour. Maybe it's 30 minutes. Maybe it's 24 hours. Yeah. Sit on it. See if it's that big of a deal to where it needs to be that big of a fight. That's my that's my stance. For sit sure. on it and, and let your emotions calm. And granted, let me put this in there. When I am going to like, meet somebody because they we get this text message out the way God. i don't meet them like i'm not this is not emotional i just want y'all to get that clear like i'm not going because i'm emotionally mad like i'm emotionally feeling some way no 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 i'm going because i'm strictly want to check the fucking temperature i want to look you in your eyes and be like yo what's good so what you mean by oh oh i took it the wrong way you know what my bad but I want to check the temperature. So what if they're hot? If they're hot too, then I know the temperature was right. I want to touch you. <laughs> Pause. No diddy. But like, I, like, oh my like God. I want to like, like we want to like, let's, you got, let's get you know it what? out the let's way. Let's talk about this because you're talking about touching people. Should we talk about what whoa, happened? Whoa, no diddy. Don't say that. No, not that type of touch. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Should we talk about what happened the other night when we went out with Matt and Hannah? No. Nah. Well, you want to address that? Well, just how women, like how, like not. Tell not, the story. We don't have to tell the story. Well, you, you tell the story. But listen, Dive I in. am not a I need to touch you type of person. She's, like I can be very. My chill. wife tried to hit somebody across the head with a bottle. <laughs> okay. That's what we weren't going to talk about. Oh, oh, you don't want to talk. <laughs> oh, talk you don't want to talk about that. Yeah. Kids. I'm sorry. Your this mom is, is an angel. Well, let's talk about it. So we go to, we don't ever go out mm -hmm. and we were going because there was somebody that was going to show up at this place. We, was, so we're we went there. to go. It was still South by. We went to go see um, Party Next Door at Devil May Care. Okay. Party Next Door mm -hmm. with a couple of friends, Matt and Hannah, who we want to have on the show. They're the sweetest. Uh as soon as we walk in, this girl has her eyes on him. And I saw it from the jump, which is fine. He's attractive. I don't care. And then it's like gets more like disrespectful as the night goes. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is weird, but it is what it is. And then it gets where he's obviously with me. We're not paying any attention to her, but she's like trying to get your attention. She's trying in to seduce different me ways. with her eyes. It was weird. It was very weird. And the fact that women are this bold when, like, we both clearly have on rings. Like, he's with me. So, like, what is your end game here? Like, do you think he's going to leave his wife and go leave with you? Like, so, like, what is your motive, right? So, I, again, don't care. But she comes up to him. Now, this is towards the end of the night where drinks are flowing, right? But... And now she's trying to touch him and she's doing it right in front of me. And so 
that's where I'm like, kind of like, um, uh, what's going on? She's trying to touch his actual, uh, his necklace. And so that's when I was like, you don't need she to know. She was like, who is this? <sighs> was like, yeah, cut the shit. Uh, okay. So I nicely moved her hand off of the thing and I told her, you don't need to know anything about, you don't need to know any, there's nothing for you to know here. Like what is going on? Mm-hmm. So then Andre is like, turns to me and you're trying to calm me down, which yeah. is fine. Cause at that point I wasn't, I was just kind of like annoyed. No, I was, I was getting heated at that point. For sure. And then she's behind you like with this smirk at me, like she's, she's literally baiting me and like intentionally trying to tick me off at that point. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason why it like escalated. And then she wanted to call her friend over like, Oh, come help. Whatever. As I'm, well, you, 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 you turned the bottle upside down. You was, <laughs> Listen, I mean, Matt had to grab the bottle. Yeah. The, that we weren't going to talk about that, yeah. but it got heated. I, it, and that the, what happened with that is <clears throat> Not totally out of character for me, but kind of out of character for me that the, normally I don't let people get me. But like what I want to ask is why, why, like what is it about, like why was that okay? Like to disrespect me to my face, like you, and you I was know telling that we're together. I said, yo, old girl, I, I was telling her, don't, don't think like the husband won't do it. I was like, yo, chill, like don't touch me, blah, blah, blah. And so I was, like, I was kept, doing my part too. Kept going. And so the scary part for me is like, like there's women out here that obviously have zero respect for sure for a wife, for a marriage, for like, it, it didn't matter to her in that moment that you were there with me. So like, I would love to know women out there that have done that. Cause I have never, and would I never ever done that? Like, what is your end game? What was the goal here? What were you trying to do? You know, that happened. Right. But I always, I wanted to, I've been explaining this to my wife for so long and, uh, she finally got to see it, uh, you know, face to face. Not that I'm, you know, I'm attractive or anything, but I tell her this all the time because I don't forget my ring a lot. But when I do forget it, I tell her typically like when I go out with my boys or something and I and I have my ring on, I get way more attention with my ring on than when I don't have it on. Which is wild. And I and women, I, I don't know if y'all, even, y'all don't even understand that, but men, y'all definitely get me because the psychological is totally different. When I have my, when I don't wear my ring and I want my be- boys, I... Not, I still get look whatever, but it's not. I get way more attention when I have my ring on because it has to do with they see that you can commit. That's is that what, what you I think? think it is. Like, oh, he's in a committed no, no. relationship. Let I don't me, know why. Let I me just, take him from. No, that, no, no. I just don't. I don't get like, it. I just get way more attention with my ring off. I mean, on <laughs> than I do with it off. Yeah, that's wild. I don't know. So basically, I'm gonna have put you in a cage at home because I don't uh, play that. <laughs> relax, but yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> She was about to hit a girl in the head with the bottle. I just need to know, like, what. Shout like, out to Matt Jones for grabbing her, <laughs> grabbing the bottle, man. I mean, you know, because my back was turned, so I didn't know. I just saw Matt, you know, gently grab the bottle and say, hey, lower the bottle. And uh, she was going to get know, it. Uh, uh, calm I do her not down. condone that type we don't, of behavior. We don't condone violence. I really, uh, truly don't. But that yeah. that had me on another level. For sure. Okay, let's jump into these last two questions, man. Um, could you marry someone that you don't have anything in common with? Like, is the saying true that opposites Ooh, do attract? attract. Yeah. Uh, like, for example, like me, I, I couldn't marry me personally. I couldn't marry a woman that didn't like sports. Not saying they got to like all sports, but I could, I couldn't marry cause I play sports. So I couldn't marry a woman that, um, didn't know anything about sports. Yeah. Like we we went to the World Series. We go to plenty of NBA basketball games. Uh, we go to football games. We go to UT Oklahoma game every year. So like we we have those things that we like to do. I mean, we'll sit and watch basketball. Yeah, we'll sit like, and watch I mean, basketball at the Madness house. Right like now. we're yeah, watching yeah, yeah. March. Like so, could you be with some like? Could you be with somebody that did that, like, like your major interest? Yeah, your major like y'all don't have in common. Facts. Could you be with somebody that mm-hmm. you know the major interest? Like she said. Could you be with somebody like that? I, I couldn't. I I think that the opposite attracts thing is interesting because nobody I know, um, I mean, I guess we could sit here and name like one or two people that are like they're opposite, but for sure, not opposite like that. Like I think that that statement is kind of like because I don't know very many couples that are just so opposite that they're together. Now, like what I think opposite attracts is more like 
you're the life of the party, I'm more reserved. Like, I don't think you can have two lives of the parties mm. or like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. there's, there's things where you need to be opposite in, I think in order to like balance, mm -hmm. but like just total opposites. You don't have, you don't like the same stuff. You don't do the same stuff. You don't like that to me would be very difficult to try to make a relationship work. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? I, I think I, I mean I just I said per, I can't I couldn't oh, do yeah, it yeah, yeah. personally okay. I couldn't marry anybody that I don't have anything in common with yeah. it just doesn't it just doesn't it wouldn't make sense to me like yeah. if like you like you couldn't marry like like if I was a gamer nothing wrong with gamers oh. I fucks with y'all heavy yeah yeah but if I was a gamer or something you 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 know what I'm no, saying that would drive me insane that would drive you insane if yeah. I was in the room for four hours playing. Games just watching someone play a game. Granted, them gamers make shit tons of money Listen, and they do their thing. Respect to the gamers. I, sure. I love all you gamers out there, but I'm just saying. I mean, if it's like, not Mario Kart, I'm not trying to do it. For sure. Like, so there's certain things that, you know what I'm saying? I I, I couldn't marry a uh also like a a super girly girl. <laughs> because that's just not my I, that's just not my I, I I gotta marry somebody that's in the um athletic realm yeah. of 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 life. Uh not you know, that's just me personally. Yeah. Not not everybody. That's just me personally. Not I have to marry somebody girl. in those type of things. Uh, and my wife is, I mean, she does do her girly thing. She does do makeup every once in a while on it, but she's not super girly girl. And uh, I try. I grew up with all boys. Yeah. I was the only girl For sure. and the baby. And um, my mom isn't super girly. So, like, sure. I do my best. You do a good job, man. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. So, tell us how y'all, if y'all think that. You know that saying that opposites do attract, or do y'all know a couple that are totally opposite from each other, but from some way they just make that shit work? Yeah. Because uh, I, I'm trying to think of any couples that I know, married couples that are super different, but they just make that shit work. Mm, um, that's what I mean. That's yeah. why I was like, mm, I don't know that that saying is like necessarily true. For sure, it is it is to a to a degree. Yeah. 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 For sure. Okay, last question, man, is uh, do you think it's a good idea to marry someone that doesn't want kids when you do and in hope. hopes that you can change their mind? Ooh, nope. No, no, no. People do this all the time. People do this shit all yeah, the time. Yeah, but the question is, is it a good idea? Hell no. It's not it's a good a idea, but idea. people do it all the time. People, like if I told this woman, hey, listen, I don't want no kids, like period. And we and she still wants to be in a relationship with me, mm -hmm. and we still do the whole thing. And then we, we I'm, I ask her to marry me, and I still tell her, "Hey, listen, I don't want no kids." And you say to yourself, "Oh, that's fine. You know, I can, you know, boo boo. I, I can, I can deal with that." Yeah, I can then be an aunt. Mm -mm. Get married, and then now you're longing for a kid, and the man had already told you, or the woman has already told you, she didn't want no kids. How are you supposed to navigate and deal with that? I think that's a ter like I said a terrible idea. Because um, people think they like people think I can change him or maybe he'll right. change his mind later or on down the line. Or maybe it's not that big of a deal for me, even though you know you want them. Yeah. Like because that just builds. You talk about resentment for sure <clears throat> to like another degree. To me, if you've established one wants a kid and the other one doesn't, y'all need to just part ways right then. Don't waste no time. No. Oh, you in my opinion, because I feel that like is that's a massive, major big thing. Yeah, that's a that's like a you can't you can't you can't play with that one. Yeah. I mean, because when you really want kids or you really don't want kids, those are very strong stances I that I cannot. I think like twine. Even like with religion, like if somebody is a atheist or somebody is a Christian, I feel like y'all know y'all shouldn't get married because yeah. you're a God person. They're not so much a God person. Y'all shouldn't get married. Not not so much. They're not. Well, like, I'm they just don't saying, believe in it at well, all. <laughs> for sure. And then you have, I want kids. You don't want kids. Y'all shouldn't probably get married. And it's, I don't think it's... No. I, I think it's a terrible idea. I think it's a terrible idea. I don't think that shit works like that all the time. I definitely think that if a person wants kids and the other person don't, y'all need to just nip it in the bud and gotcha. not even like, you know... Go down that path. I like, wouldn't. Why? Because at some point, someone's going to have to um, <laughs> sacrifice what they want. And, you know, and maybe sometimes you can change your mind. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm not saying you might start off like, no, but if you if you know, what we're talking about here is when you know you do and you don't. Yeah. That's when this doesn't work. If you're like, oh, maybe, you know, 
if it happens, it happens. That's different. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like strong nose is like you said, it's like we have two friends, uh, Matt and Hannah, who we already talked about. Uh, yeah. They don't want kids. Nope. Uh, they're both. And they would both be fantastic parents. parents. Definitely. They fucking <laughs> phenomenal aunts and uncles and shit. Yeah. They do a great job on that. And they would be phenomenal parents, but they don't want kids. And uh, I used to think to myself, man, people that want that don't want kids is is weird to me. But. You know, me, Matt being one of my one of my best boys, and, and Hannah uh, is coming into the fold now. Um, like, I, I kind of understand, you know, Man, their side of it. But they are also like, we're gonna we have to have them on because their life is so different than ours, right? For sure. They're both successful jobs, mm-hmm. um, very busy. I mean, they work hard to get to be where they are, but mm-hmm. they just live that like drinking wine in Spain on, you know, like traveling wherever they want to go on a regular basis. I mean, they are on a flight every other day. Enjoying life. Enjoying life. So for sure. And like what they said is if they had kids, this isn't what they would be doing. So this is, this is their path. And I think it's amazing. Do you ever get jealous of people that don't have kids and able to do like, those things no because technically we could do those things yeah, yeah. if we wanted to I and mean, we would just have to pack kids with us or Baby take sitters. them to nannies or yeah, like yeah. whatever For but sure. no because what we have at home is very fulfilling too so yeah, like yeah. yes it yes when you're like like you said chasing kids around and cleaning up play-doh and slime and, da, 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 and then you look on instagram and matt and hannah are freaking in portugal you're like yeah so i, I had a <laughs> i have a, a ongoing running um um, uh, what is it called? Where I can, um, I'm like a future teller, and uh, I put it in the air on a group chat maybe four or five months ago oh, yeah. that uh, Hannah was going to be pregnant. Oh my god, <laughs> and, uh, Hannah! I am Matt sorry. And me, you know, I, with all the guys, I said, "Listen, man, Hannah's going to get pregnant." I think and, Hannah uh, knows how not to get pregnant for sure. But I, 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 I saw this. I, 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 I dreamt this. I wonder and, uh, how they would feel if they did. I, I said that she was going to get pregnant, right. accidental or not. I, 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 I'm and I'm and on everything that I've been picking the last couple of years, I'm like 88. percent 88. I love how you just throw out percentiles. Ask my like guys. As if, ask my guys. Okay. A, ask Marcus, aka MLK, aka Big Fella. That's what I call him. His name is Marcus Myers. We need to have him on the show too. I call him aka Big Fella, aka MLK, aka a little deviant sometimes. And that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's my guy. And okay. so I'm 88% on on uh, picking things. And uh, I well, just... I think Matt and Hannah are on that 12%. Uh, yeah, we'll they see. don't want kids. They've I get it. it. No, I totally get it. I totally get it. So that question was basically like, could you be with somebody that didn't want kids in hopes of... Yeah, no, that's a bad mix. That's a bad mix for sure. If anyone's doing that, I strongly... Strong, because... Once you have a kid, I mean, this is, it's, it is. That shit changes everything. It changes everything. Yeah. And so if you were on the fence of, oh, I'll do it for you even. Yeah. That is going to make things rough. For like sure. you have to know that you want children and have children. I mean, yeah. come on. Like, you know, I don't know. I feel like this could go all kinds of ways. Like, for yes, sure. there's accidents that happen and people have babies and da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying like, if you are a strong no then you need to stick with the strong no. Yeah. Otherwise, resentment is... And don't be like, I, I, I'll do it for you. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that at all. Because that is a big commitment. Facts. A lifelong one. Facts. <laughs> okay. Um, Where was this coffee from again? Oh, Summer Moon. It's Summer good. Moon. Grab you some. Oak this is roasted. our coffee of the week. And this is episode one of season two. We're back in this thing, doing new things, big things, and all that good old stuff, man. <laughs> We just want to thank y'all for tuning in to um, episode one of season two. This is Coffee with Jenny and Dre. You can find us on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. If TikTok's going to still be around. If TikTok's oh, still going to be around, okay. you can follow us on that. We get our most engagement on uh, TikTok. Uh, so we just want to thank y'all, man. Keep sending in the questions. Uh, keep showing us love, man. And we really appreciate y'all. This is uh, Coffee with Jenny and Dre. Peace. Peace.